Now let's try FaceShop Pro. Unlike Basic, FaceShop called Maya. As before, we draw a selection rectangle around the face. We also select a higher resolution, in this case 2048 by 2048, the first time the application will ask for a license number. In the next screen, the guide appears and asks us to put down the three points, corner of the eyes and tip of the chin. Following this, another 20 points are placed automatically. It is our task to make sure that they are placed correctly and move them into position as necessary. Here we adjust the tip of the nose, the upper lip, lower lip, and so forth. After clicking Next, the program aligns the head and we are asked to outline some parts of the head, starting with the eyebrows. We can, we can skip some by clicking the right arrow. There is also an Undo button to restart a line. After finishing the eyebrows, eyes and mouth, we need to draw the left side of the head. Notice that we choose to go all the way around the head to better describe its unique shape. We need to do the same with the mesh, followed by the right side of the head in both. Finally, we are outlining the bottom of the nose in both the photo and the 3D mesh. We can also use the five free lines to denote other elements, like the middle line on the lips. After clicking on Next, the program goes and changes the head in two steps. First, it changes the shape of the head, doing a fairly good job here. Next, it applies a texture. With a high resolution texture, this may take a few more seconds to accomplish. We turn the head around and decide to work on the profile. Clicking on the Refine button, we choose Use New Photo. As we happen to have a good profile shot of Maya, we choose that for this step. The next screen superimposes our new altered mesh over the profile photo. Our task is to rotate the mesh sideways and also zoom it to fit over the photo. Once we finish this alignment, we click Next. Now we start to use the first free line to outline the forehead all the way down to the bottom of the nose. In order to do a good job on the lips and chin, we zoom in and draw the curve with great care, then repeat the same on the 3D mesh. Clicking on Next, we will be back at the finish stage and explore the new head by rotating it around. Seems like a good likeness of Maya. After accepting it, FaceShop closes and applies both the mesh and texture to Victoria. We can still change the mesh by adjusting the percentage of the change, for example from 100% down to 60% as shown here. Now we have Maya applied to Vicky and it looks good. We can further improve on the head by taking the texture map into Photoshop and repairing the imperfect areas of the texture map.
What's new in FaceShop 4? Users will notice two buttons added to the tool palette, a texture brush and a morph brush. Let's explore the texture brush first. The texture brush works similar to Photoshop's clone stamp. You pick an area and clone it to another. Here we are extending the texture of the cheeks all the way back to the ears. Notice that we can set the brush size and also its transparency or fall off. With some patience, we can extend the texture to cover areas that we miss in the frontal image. Better yet, we can even import a second image for cloning. Here we open the profile photo of Maya and clone some of the profile textures in the left window over to the 3D head in the right window. To ensure a smooth transition, we should set the brush transparency fairly high to begin with. The second new tool is a morph brush. It works on the 3D mesh and allows minute corrections to the shape of the head, nose, chin, etc. You can even create localized items like a wart or a horn. Our goal here is to smooth out the abrupt break on the forehead. Notice that we have a choice of several shapes and can also adjust the brush size. The selected area is shown in green and can be changed precisely. In two steps we manage to eliminate the bump and smooth out the forehead. Next, we adjust the shape of the nose using a smaller brush and a different round shape. 